Back again, back again, YouTube, and welcome back to another video within this building a PHP framework series. And in this episode, I think it's more appropriate. Well, I think it's the right time now to sort of like do a small presentation as we're now sort of like getting into the application side as we need this part of our framework to help build the core. So, we're going to be introducing MVC pattern or MVC design pattern, but I'm only going to go into it very very small because there's quite a lot of information out there already about what mvc is and how it's being used and it's quite subjective because everyone uses it differently or have a different implementation of mvc but the main point of of any um, mvc application is to separate your presentation from your business logic so i've got a little slide that i've prepared this morning and i've also got a a data flow chart which i've also done this morning so you can see how the data is going to be flowing within this project this is not any other project this is within this particular project again it's subjective everyone data flows a little bit different but in this framework we've actually got a data flow which i'm going to present to you in some slides so i'm going to crack on with the first slide which is going to be a brief description of what mvc is and some of its main use cases right so MVC design pattern. MVC is an application design pattern that separates the application data and business logic, which is the model, from the presentation, which is the view. So the controller within our application, main purpose is to mediate between the model and the view, meaning the view doesn't communicate with the model and vice versa. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. Uh, so why use it? It simplifies our work process. It gives us some benefits in terms of it eyes the complex implementation, which is what our framework is providing. It's providing all the implementation which we're going to use in our application. It provides a level of abstraction by providing re reusable methods, which we've already defined in our, in our framework. It increased productivity due to that deep level of abstraction we shouldn't need to connect to a database or do validation or sanitize because we already done that already in our framework, you know, at the core level, right? Or at least provide the means of doing that. And it just makes our application organized and it lays out a solid foundation um, for our code base to be maintainable and scalable. That's why we're sort of like implementing this MVC pattern because it provides a structure and we all need some kind of structure, right? So that's the main gist of our project. Now I'm going to show you two, um, two charts which I've done this morning. And one is for a GET request, and the second is for a POST request. And we could say deleting or inserting or editing is gonna be coming under a POST request. So the, the data flow is going to be very similar. So the first I'm going to show you is a GET request, which is this, and this is the out oh, the data flow within our project. So the client sends a request, it goes through our dispatcher, which then creates an object or a search for that object, which is a controller. So for argument's sake, let's 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 say we're searching for a user. We want to get all that user back onto our screen or onto the client, right? So that, that request comes into our dispatcher that then sends that request to the controller because at this point, we know it's a GET request, right? The controller then consults the model, which these are all the logic. But in our application, we've got a middleman and that middleman is that repository, which you can see right here. So we've got our application layer, which is in this box, the middleman and our framework right here, right? So the model sends that request to repository to get all this data. That goes to the database in our framework using our ORM, comes back with the data in the model to the controller, back to the view, back to the client. That's as simple as the data flow goes for a GET request. Simple as it goes, right? Now I'm going to put these down in the description so you can download them if you want to or I'm going to put them on github actually so it would be a better way 
to to see this for yourself or to play around with it so it will be part of the project code that's going to be available on github so or get our post requests you can see that there's a little bit more going on so the data flow is the same as far as from the client to the model but there's something else going on because for instance if we're posting data to our database right what happens is the model then gets an entity which sanitize that data because the data coming in dirty right we cannot trust what the user is inputting we have to assume it's going to be dangerous so the entity uses or delegates that responsibility to a different class called a sanitizer which sanitizer inputs send back that clean data to our entity which then passes it to our repository that repository now sort of like validate that data make sure it's valid make sure that you know we're using the right email format the name inputs is 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 legit <laughs> is legit whatever you know what validation is so our repository is going to validate that data before it sends it to the database which then gets back a response through the repository and then back to the model to our controller to our to our view and back to the client right again the data can be success or fail it doesn't have to be a success because if it doesn't validate it will not be successful it will fail and that response will go straight back through a controller to the view to the client right that's the basic data flow whether we're doing insert update or deleting this is the process that the data goes through back and forth right you can see there is no communication between our model and our presentation. Everything goes through our controller, which mediates between these two, right? And again, this is our application layer. That's our database layer. And we've got our middleman, which is our repository. So again, that's the, the data flow for our project. And we're sort of like going to be implementing our class based on this data flow. So that was a quick video of what I wanted to show you in terms of what MVC is, how we're using it, how our data is flowing in and out of our application and what the client is seeing. So that's a quick video, guys. The next video coming up is going to be we implementing these data structure within the application. And I'm going to show you how we're going to be implementing all of that. So stay tuned for the next video, guys, because that's going to be coming up. That's going to be coming up very, very shortly right after this one. So stay tuned. Stay blessed. <laughs> Thanks and bye.